Welcome to our lesson about cut lists. The cut list replaces the solid bodies folder in the weldment environment. Before importing a cut list table into a drawing, the cut list does need to be updated and you can do that with a right click, select update. Now let's go ahead and create a drawing from our part. Select the format for the drawing and click OK. Let's take an isometric view. Accept. By the way, for more information on drawing, check Volume 5 from our SOLIDWORKS course. Next, I'm going to Insert, Tables, Weldment Cut List. My isometric view is pre-selected, but if your view wasn't pre-selected, let's show you what to do. We'll unselect everything. Now let's go back to Insert, Tables, Weldment Cut List. SOLIDWORKS prompts me to select a drawing view. Here we can set up table template, position, configuration, and so on. I'm going to click OK for now, and I'll place my table about here. At this point, if you see an empty table, you need to return to your part document and update the cut list. Now let's set an anchor for the weldment cut list table. Let's expand sheet format one, right click on the weldment cut list anchor, Select Set Anchor, and let's choose an anchor. I'll take this corner. Right click on the cut list table, we'll select Properties. Check Attach to Anchor Point. Specify the stationary corner, and click OK. Deleting a weldment cut list table is easy. Just right click on it in the Feature Manager tree and select Delete. We've got four columns in our table Item Number, Quantity, description, and length. As you see, the structural members have description and the length columns populated, but the gusset and end cap columns are empty. We're going to have to enter the information manually. Let's learn how to modify the information in the cut list table. I'll return to my SOLIDWORKS part document. Now let's right click on the cut list folder and select properties. Here we can modify and view cut list information. Let's select description, type my text here, and click the tab key. Evaluated value, this column gets populated automatically. To preview the cut list table, let's go to the cut list table tab and click OK. Let's return to our drawing. The text we type, as you see, appears right here. It's easy to add and remove columns from the table as well. Let's try it. We'll right click in a cell, insert, and let's select column left. And here's my new column left of the current cell. The column property manager is open. Let's select cut list item property and then select our property. We'll use angle one. Click OK. And as you see, the angle value is populated in column D. A zero angle means a straight cut. A dash in this column would refer to a non-planar face. Now let's learn how to change the number of items in the cut list table. Back to our part document. Let's right click on the cut list and unselect automatic. Let's select cut list item four and we'll delete it. Yes, we really do want to delete it. Now let's right click and select Create Cut List Item. We'll do it again. And let's return to our drawing. Now, as you can see, we've got a total of six items in our table. Now let's add a little more to our table Insert, Annotations, Auto Balloon. First, we select a drawing sheet view for the auto balloon. Now we select the balloon layout and click OK. Now we can reposition the auto balloons within the graphic area. OK. Let's return to our part document. And let's turn the automatic updating back on. I click on the cut list, select automatic. SOLIDWORKS prompts me to delete the existing cut list items before turning automatic back on. So let's shift select them, press delete. Do I really want to delete? Yes to all. Back to the cut list, right click, automatic. 
and let's return to our drawing. Once again, our cut list table is updated. This concludes our lesson about cut lists.